Hello everybody, what's going on? Douglas Schwag is back with another tutorial, and this time it's in a software that I've not done a tutorial in yet. Paint.net, which is a free Photoshop software that allows you to do quite a bit. Not as, you know, it's not as beefy as actual Adobe Photoshop, but it still has a lot of really cool tools, and you can do still do a lot of really cool things in Paint.net, such as this Polyscape tutorial that I'm gonna be walking you through now. So I saw a lot of tutorials for these on Adobe Photoshop, but I didn't see any in uh, paint.net when I looked it up. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. So I just fiddled around for a bit and figured out how to kind of make your own. I've made a couple now and I'll put up the two that I've made. I personally think the first one looks really nice. The second one I'm just making to test out a different design and it's the one you see on screen now. So we're gonna kind of follow this format in uh, this tutorial, but uh, yeah, so let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with a new file, going to file new, and I'm going to actually make this the size of my desktop background, which is widescreen, so it's 2048 by 1152, and boom, new file size or new project so make sure you make the resolution whatever you want to the same resolution as whatever you want to end up using this for so the resolution of any monitor that you're using so we're gonna start off by going and changing the background to a specific gradient color so you can either press F8 or click the color wheel in the top left corner or top right corner and you get these color this color selection I think to switch it up a bit I'm gonna do blue and mm, let's see here blue and green yeah I think blue and green is gonna look kind of nice and we're going to go into tools select the gradient tool and I'm gonna use this uh, radial which kind of creates this shape coming out uh, this yeah that's radial center so once you have your gradient positioned how you like it you can hit enter and that will just set the gradient as is. All right, so now that you have your background gradient set, you can create a new layer in your layer window. And this is where we're gonna be drawing our shapes. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing, let's see here. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm actually gonna be taking a different direction than my other ones. And I'm gonna be doing a hexagon styled uh, design, poly polyscape design. So a couple settings you want to make sure you have selected up in this top toolbar. You want to make sure, of course, you have the shapes setting. You want to be in hexagon. Uh, this is very important. You want to have it draw a filled shape. Brush width doesn't really matter since it's filling it with a solid color. And yeah, this should be solid color. So on this layer, uh, you're going to want to be drawing your shapes that you're going to end up having your image be inside of. So for this design, I think I'm going to go kind of simplistic. We're just going to have three or four hexagons in the center of very in the center that are various sizes. So I'm going to just click and drag out while holding shift. Very important because you want your hexagons to be, uh, you know, a proportion, a certain size. You don't want them to be kind of stretched or out of their aspect ratio. And then to turn them, since I think I'm going to have my hexagons be flat you hold uh, shift again while turning oh geez let me get that straight again you hold shift while turning and it will actually lock them into this flat position so that way you can get all your hexagons a certain direction in terms of their slant because you don't want them to be off that would just look messy all right so now you just want to or what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna align on this layer I'm gonna align my hexagon right in the center okay so now that it's aligned in the center, I'm just going to do the same thing. Create more hexagons by holding down shift, dragging out, and then holding shift and rotating. That are various sizes and that maybe go off the side and, you know, they're just a little, oh, geez, sorry. They're just a little uh, different in terms of size and placement. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll catch you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I have this kind of strange design going on here. There's no no real um, 
actually there is kind of a pattern in the way it's set up but uh now i'm actually going to once again go to object align which i'll have the plugin pack that i'm using listed in the description since this is a certain plugin that i don't think comes with uh paint.net there we go object align it'll align them all as a group again and cool so now i have this design i like it and i want to get my image to match them so i'm gonna add a new layer and i'm on layer three cool so this is where you want to select your image i already have one selected called new york so i'm just going to copy it and paste it onto layer three and control v right keep canvas size if it gives you this option don't expand canvas you want to keep the canvas size and just drag and resize your picture it's usually a good rule of thumb is that it's way way better to have higher resolution pictures uh, than what you're working in than lower resolution because if you're trying to expand lower re resolution pictures to fit your frame then you're probably going to run into pixelation problems so in layer 3 I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to change I'm going to turn the opacity down so we can see the shapes underneath and this actually will allow us to see what parts of the picture will show up in the end so you can kind of move it around customize it how you'd like I think I actually like this choosing the left side of the picture more because one of the polygons is just on the sky which I think is kind of a cool design maybe we'll even get a bit of the building yeah I like that okay cool so I like this so now what I'm just gonna do and this is really easy in like Photoshop it seems like it's so hard but I'm just gonna hit enter click on layer 2 which is where our shapes are go to tool select magic wand hold control and shift while clicking in the area of one of the polygons and it will select all the polygons re-click on layer 3 where your picture is and it will keep the mask you're gonna wanna hit control I which will invert your mask and then just simply delete boom there you go now of course it looks bland and kind of nasty so we want to separate this image from the background which is quite easy to do first thing I'm gonna do though is select layer 3 merge layers down onto the shapes so now the shapes behind this picture are one layer and they'll work together it didn't it doesn't really matter too much but I like kind of tidying up a little so a couple things I'm gonna do I'm gonna feather these not this much probably because I'm gonna want to add a bit of shadow onto them later uh, yeah I'm gonna say six is okay and then I'm gonna want to maybe use some drop shadow this is where kind of get separated from all right and there's a polyscaped image um as you can see it's pretty easy to do in paint.net but you can totally in make it your own thing when you do this I'm gonna actually add a couple things in as well just to continue but this is this if you want to click off now and be done with this you can but I'm just gonna add a couple things alright guys this is the final product I think I'm, I'm not gonna work on it anymore this is it I added just a couple things. I added a little texture in the background uh, to kind of abstract line art design. Added a little watermark in the bottom corner just so you know. If, you know, people don't steal it and stuff like that if I ever... I don't know. <laughs> but pretty much this is going to be what you're creating. I thought this looks really nice. It shows up really well on my monitor background and I have a lot of fun making them. So yeah, this is it. If you had any suggestions for future tutorials in paint.net please leave a suggestion below i need ideas and thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe do whatever you want to and i'll see you in the next video